myself raj welcome to raj online trainings in the series of java programming complete placement codes in the last video we have seen about the codes today let us move to the next one in this video we are going to discuss about computer fundamentals so before we enter into any programming language like c or c++ java .net, let us even have some basic idea on this computer also what is the meaning of computer what terminologies are present related to this computer that's the main objective of today's video so first of all let us understand what is this computer how to define a computer is like a computer is an electronic device which takes input process the given input and provides output to the user so here we are going to have the input whatever the input we accept we are going to process it then we are going to provide the output to the user like example if you take two numbers if you take two numbers like n1 equal to 10 and n2 equal to 5 this is our input now we want to do the process like we want to find the sum of these two numbers so we'll say the process as sum equal to n1 plus n2 we are adding these two numbers so this calculations only we call process then output what output we get after adding these two numbers we are going to get the output as 15 that is 10 plus 5 15 this is the result that result only we call output so from where we are going to accept the input from keyboard process is our cpu then output where it where we are going to display this output on our monitor screen on our screen we are going to display the output input we accept using keyboard process it is done inside your computer that is your cpu and output we are going to display where on our screen that is monitor now the next important definition is program as we are going to write the programs we should know what is the meaning of program how to define a program is like a program is a set of instructions given to a computer to perform a task the task can be to find area of a circle to find area of a rectangle finding total marks of a student uh, buying a movie ticket adding a book into the library booking a flight ticket booking a movie ticket all these things we call them as task so to do the task we have to provide some set of instructions that set of instructions only we call it as what we call it as this set of instructions only we call it as what here program now like a small example we want to find area of a rectangle that is a task here so in order to find area of a rectangle what data we require we should read length value we should read breadth value we should find the area what is the formula to find area of rectangle length into breadth and finally we have to display area print area so like this providing the instructions to a computer that we call it as a program so depends on the programming language what you are learning like it may be c or c plus plus or java or dot net or python we have to follow the respect to rules of that language which we call it as syntax rules as we are going to learn java we will be seeing the syntax rule related to java once we start off with java programming language the next definition is software how to define a software a software is a collection of related programs so once we write the program in order to make it as a software we have to write so many programs that collection of related programs only we call it as software and this software is of two types system software and application software the examples of system software are like operating systems like windows mac linux this operating systems comes under system software the drivers the drivers what we install to make your hardware work like if i want to make our printer work we have to install the driver related to printer if you want to make your mouse work we have to install the drivers related to mouse so that to make your hardware device work we have to install driver that driver software comes under system software even the compilers interpreters this compilers interpreters we call them as translators 
so that translators also comes under as system software the examples of application software are like the general purpose softwares like example employee management system microsoft office paint calculator ticket booking system movie ticket booking system library management account bank banking all these things comes under application software the next one language the definition of language is like a language is a media for communication so whenever you want to communicate we make use of language so related to human beings we make use of the language like english or hindi or telugu or tamil or uh, odia like that will be making use of language like punjabi okay marathi will be using the language to for communicate related to computer so here also in order to interact with the computer we need to make use of a language and related to this computer we are in two types of languages they are low level languages and high level languages so the examples of low level languages are like machine language so when you go with machine language we'll use only two values over there zero and one binary format so only by using this zero and one we are going to provide the instructions so writing the code using only with zero one it is very very difficult to the developers that is the reason we are having assembly language so when you go with assembly language we make use of term, the words like mnemonics we make use of the words called as mnemonics mnemonics like example like add sub mal like this we'll use some words but whenever we go with assembly language what are the instruction we are writing we should remember the address of the instruction that is the very complex part to the developers so this is the problem with assembly language now the next type of languages are like high level languages these are english type language very easy to write the code using high level languages very easy to write very easy to read very easy to understand and the examples of high level languages are like pascal cobol c c++ java dot net python these are the some of the example programming languages which are high level this low level languages are used to develop system softwares by using low level languages we develop what type of software system software and by using high level languages we develop application softwares the next important one this is very very important during interview times so as a fresher many of the companies are asking the difference between compiler and interpreter so when you go with compiler compiler is used to convert source code into object code at a time so the meaning of source code and object code is like whatever the programs we are going to write that we call it as the source code for example if you are writing a c language program or java program that program we call it as source code for example if i take here x dot java the extension given to a java program is like dot java if you take c language dot c if you take c++ dot cpp if you take python dot py so the programs whatever we write that only we call source code so in our program we go with some set of instructions so when you go with compiler it's going to convert our source code it's going to convert our source code this extra java only we call it as what source code so we should convert into machine understandable format that machine understandable format only we call it as object code so here it has to generate the object code so that your machine can understand oc means object code so what compiler is going to do is it's going to check the complete program it takes the complete program checks for errors the meaning of errors is like when you are writing the program we have to follow the rules of that programming language if you are violating the rules of that language that we call it as errors so if there are errors in your source code then it won't convert into object code so when there are no errors in your complete source code 
if there are no errors then at a time it's going to convert into object code that is the meaning called as at a time so which programming languages are compiler based languages are like c is a compiler based language c++ is compiler based language java is also compiler based language right then coming to the next one interpreter interpreter is also used to convert source code into object code line by line in the case of interpreter it is line by line like example if you are writing a source code if you are going with a source code like example x dot py means a python code x dot py now we are having some set of instructions we want to convert this python code into object code we want to convert into object code so in the case of interpreter it checks the first line if first line is not having any error then that first line will be converted into object code then it comes and checks second line second line is also not having error then that second line will also be converted into object code then third line is having error then it stops here only it won't continue with the remaining piece of code so that is the meaning of line by line then which programming languages are interpreter based is java is an interpreter based language and python is also interpreter based language python is also interpreter right so very very important one the difference between compiler and interpreter what is compiler what is interpreter so when you go with the compiler it's going to convert our source code means the programs whatever we are going to write that programs we call it as source code it's going to convert into object code object code means machine understandable format code and it's going to do at a time interpreter is line by line so com remember compiler is at a time interpreter line by line so this is very very important interview question as a pressure level right so that's about in this video please subscribe like and share thank you